Lone Tree City officials say residents will only bear about 5% of the increase. That's because 95% of visitors to stores in Lone Tree don't live in Lone Tree. You can thank the Park Meadows Mall for most of that. Tonight, we're going in depth on municipal sales taxes, starting with a look at how the pandemic has affected local governments. We'll also examine which parts of the state have the highest sales taxes and look at the impact Tabor is having on the budgets of local governments. Now, according to the city of Lone Tree, it collected more than 31% less in sales taxes in 2020 than in 2019. The city projects an increase of 5.2% this year. Now, that assumes that the rebound will continue and we won't see more businesses restrictions because of the Delta variant. When it comes to how much sales tax you will pay when making a purchase, it's all about location. The state collects a 2.9% sales tax on purchases. Local governments are allowed to collect up to 8.3%, but most don't go nearly that high. The average among the 224 local tax jur jurisdictions is about 3.3%. The highest sales tax in Colorado can be found in Winter Park. They charge the maximum 8.3%. According to the Pew Research Institute, one of the most difficult things for local budgets in Colorado is Tabor. Researchers say the law complicates city efforts to maintain a consistent level of services as things grow more expensive. Lone Tree's mayor told the Douglas County News Press that when she started on city council in 2008, it cost $400,000 to replace a traffic light. Now she says it cost about three quarters of a million dollars. In 51 out of Colorado's 64 counties and 230 out of 274 local municipalities, voters have approved keeping the revenue above the Tabor cap, increasing taxes or creating new tax levies to shore up budgets. Researchers suggest temporarily lifting tax limitations, adjusting taxes that may slow an economic recovery, and increasing budget flexibility. That can all help ensure local governments have the funds to weather unexpected budget crises. A lot of local governments blame the advent of online shopping for their budget woes, but Pennsylvania may have found a creative solution to make up for that lost revenue. That state's considering adding a 25 cent tax to each package delivered by Amazon, FedEx and UPS. More than 721 million packages were delivered to that state in 2020. So with the tax, that would translate to an additional $180 million in revenue. So now we want to hear from you. Do you support a higher sales tax to help your community rebound? Or are you all in on Tabor and its tax limitations? Send us your thoughts, please, with an email to 360 at thedenverchannel.com.